everybody Ann here sitting in the tiny house having my coffee hot coffee today because it's kind of cool um i haven't been feeling well for a few days now and it could just be the heat it seems to be resolving a little bit uh i developed a tremor well not really a tremor but a twitching <laughs> in my left hand and fingers it's only the left hand and fingers it was going on all day long all night long um well, I don't know about all night long because I was asleep. And I haven't been sleeping well, uh, sick to my stomach, no appetite, that sort of thing. Uh, so it could be it could be dehydration because when you get dehydrated, you uh, lose electrolytes and potassium and magnesium. Um, and that can cause muscle spasms. So maybe it was that. Um, it's It's very weird. It's disconcerting. Um, I do know that I've got Parkinson's in my family. Um, my mom's mom has or had Parkinson's, and um, I don't know. Uh, so we'll just wait and see. Um, it wasn't this bad this morning. I'm looking down at my hand, and it's not twitching. <laughs> uh, so that's that's good. I've been taking in electrolytes and trying to relax, and I haven't been doing too much. Well, there's been the storm. Um, it's been storming, and I got to go out and look. There was some cracking and thudding going on out there. So I got to go, and there's a work truck out there doing something. I don't know what they're doing. But um, so I've been indoors, and I have, well, I put up another shelf, and I've moved some stuff around, and everything is a mess again. So, uh, I'm going to show you the other shelf I put up and then go have a look around my property, see what's going on. What are they doing? I put up another shelf. Yep, did it all by myself. It is level. Hooray. I haven't put the wood around it yet, but I will. Um, of course, I'll take everything down off of it when I'm putting the little wood trim on it. But I think that's about as high as I'm going to go with that. And I have brought this shelf that my mom brought down back over here because... Oh no, I just, this is uh, where the, uh, well, the air conditioner is going to go and where the wood stove is going to go, but it's kind of hard to see and everything's a mess. I kind of like it there because it doesn't completely block off the kitchen, but it does divide it. So what I'm going to do is put more shelves up here. Yep, put more shelves up here, just a whole bunch of them, and uh, I think that'll be great. And I'm going to move this little thing over here for Papa, sorry it's so dark, over into here underneath the shelves. So that'll save me a little bit of room. That's what I've been doing. Goodness, I can't believe Miss Purse brought her little babies out here. But she did. Look at Blondie. Look at those wings. Let's see if I can get a better shot. I think that one's a hen. I really do. Because I remember reading the hens will develop wings and tail feathers quicker. Look at the beautiful color. Oh my gosh. Yep, and I think I'm going to have a couple barred rock, probably roosters. I, I just cannot say, wait to see what these chickens, whoops, sorry. What these chickens are going to look like when they grow up. Uh, doesn't look too terribly bad. We got... Eh, one decent size that came down over here and a nice big one over here yeah this is the crack thud that I heard I'm sure of it yep they probably came down from multiple trees um probably this one oh my gosh do you guys see that wait can you see it all the way up there let me see if I can zoom in Oh, where's that? Where's that? I can't even see it in my own camera. There's a huge cluster right. Whoops. <laughs> I can't see. It's right there. Look at those huge mushrooms. There is no way I can get them. Oh, man. You know what? This tree is kind of dead. I may end up cutting this tree down and just saving that portion to see if I can get some more mushrooms to spawn in it in the future. Oh my gosh, those are freaking huge. Oh, wow. Wow, look how high it is. 
It's all the way up there. Oh, I'm gonna go check my other tree. So I'll just pull this into the shed and start, um, you know, kind of chipping away at it. But I'm seeing this piece right here. Maybe starting at about right here. I don't know if it's straight enough. Look at all that beautiful moss on it. Wouldn't that be cool to bring inside? I don't know if it's straight enough, though, to be honest with you. And you know what? I could always just find um, another another one and just glue some of this off. Because, look, a lot of this stuff is coming off of it anyhow. But I just think it's so pretty. And this stuff, it'll wax and wane. When it gets more humid, it will start growing again. So I could literally just attach this to some wood and uh, it would grow and look really pretty. So funny, it's like these are two separate flocks. Romeo, who is molting right now? Look, he's only got one tail feather left. Hi, Romeo, with no tail. I've been trying to give him more protein. And then we got these five over here. Look at that one. Torch, oh, he's gonna be beautiful. But I think, I think he's a rooster, but I think this one is a rooster too. Look how much taller it stands. Um, stature is just bigger. I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm thinking I got two roosters out of this batch. But just look at Torch. Look at how beautiful. I'm pretty sure it's a he because look, his little tail feathers are starting to already kind of go down like that. This one is too, so I think I got two roosters, which is just fine because that's going to be a beautiful rooster as well, I think. All of these chickens out of this batch turned out really pretty. This one over here, you can see the little blue patterning. Oh, just gorgeous. This one is unusual because she has a little tiny black comb. Can you see that little tiny black comb? It's not red at all. But anyhow, yeah, these chickens are getting prettier by the day. Hey, Miss Pris Fancy Pants. She didn't like me talking to her babies. You guys, these are going to be such magnificent looking. I don't even care if I've got... I think i got at least two roosters in there because they got the white dots and they say that with... Oh, I am sorry, Miss Pris. All right, I'll leave you alone. Needless to say, all of my rain barrels, everything, the big tote, the other rain barrels, they're all filled, all the buckets that I have sitting around underneath the eaves of the roof, uh, they're all filled, so that's a bonus. Yes, it is. So I'm gonna go look out in my little forest here and see if there's any mushrooms. This is my favorite mushroom tree, and there's the old one, they kinda broke up, but I am seeing something right here. Oh, look at, look at that little snail's trying to eat it. No, no, I don't think so. Uh, this very well may be the beginnings of an oyster mushroom, I'm not sure. Could be. Uh, so I'm just going to leave it and watch it and see what happens. It's tiny though. I mean, look at, look at how tiny that is. I'm on the other side of the stream right now and... Look what I found. That's a pretty nice looking little cedar tree. I think that's a candidate for, I don't know, transplanting somewhere else. I want you guys to take a look at this. My neighbor basically mowed a path <laughs> all the way out to the street and it kind of borders my property and their property, but he made a nice walking trail all the way back here for his kids and they can ride their bikes and their motorbikes back here and it goes all the way around and it loops around so that is pretty pretty awesome yeah see there's the there's a little stake that says what their property is but I told him you can bull, bulldoze down anything you want just save the trees it's kind of nice walking back in here on this path they made Papa likes it he's way up ahead where you at Papa come here boy Come on, Papa. Here he comes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> he loves coming out here. Yes, you do, don't you? You're a good boy. What is Papa doing? This is the first time I've seen him get in the water. Getting himself a little drink. 
Remember when Judy was playing in this pond? What's up, Papa? That's probably nasty. Come here, boyfriend. Come on. That's my boy. That's my boy. He loves going for romps all around my property. And it's a good place for a dog to play in. So no mushrooms out on my little stroll today, unfortunately, except for the one way high up in the tree that I can't reach. I, I'm sitting here looking at it right now, and I'm like, oh, that's so beautiful. But that's okay. I cooked up all those other oyster mushrooms that I had and um, provided two meals. I made chicken fingers, basically fried them up with one meal, and then I sautéed them in ghee and put the, some other vegetables in them and served them over pasta for another dish like I've done before. And, uh, yeah, so I love finding mushrooms, but no more today. So, um, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go inside and just sit down for a little while because I'm feeling a little tired again. And, um, well, maybe get up a couple more shelves today. Yep, a couple more shelves, so we'll see if I get that done. I think that's all for today, you guys. Um, I'm not going to get those other shelves up. I'm just exhausted. Uh, UPS is supposed to come today. They came yesterday and was supposed to deliver something I had ordered, but they actually didn't put it on the truck. The driver couldn't find it, so it's now supposed to arrive today. The generator is supposed to arrive today, but I know it's not going to because on tracking it doesn't even say that it's left Texas yet. That just makes me so mad, and I'm so disappointed. I was just so looking forward to getting it last Friday, and then maybe Monday, and now Tuesday. Well, Amazon tells me if I don't get it by the end of the day, I can request a refund or a replacement or whatever. Um, it just makes me mad because I just was I was needing this generator, and now the weather is starting to cool down. And the air conditioner is supposed to arrive tomorrow, and that made me mad, too, because I looked on tracking yesterday, and it hadn't even shipped yet, and I asked for a cancellation, and they refused it. I asked twice, as a matter of fact, and after the second time, they, I guess, put it in the system that it had shipped. Um, <laughs> so I, I'm considering just uh, refusing it or returning it, sending it back, and getting the money re-put into my gift card account. And uh, getting something else that I need right now because all that's probably going to happen when I get the air conditioner is it's going to stay in the box until next year. And because um, if I'm not going to be using it, I, I don't need to take it out. But then I would need to make sure that it works <laughs> so that it can be returned if it doesn't work. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Um, I mean, I can't use it anyhow if I don't have the generator. And if the weather is in the 80s, the, the mid to low 80s, I don't need the air conditioner, so anyhow, I'm just disappointed. Um, I'll keep you updated on all that. Uh, so for the rest of the day, I'm just going to relax and chill out, maybe take a nap. Um, so we'll do the shelves tomorrow and uh, see, see how that goes. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.